tell you. No. Um, <clears throat> Daddy, do you remember I was, um, I was trying to explain well, I some... I love it when you call me Daddy, Venus. For my supposedly ex-husband, you sure are following me around a lot. You show up at my wedding, my honeymoon, and now here. If I didn't know better, I'd think, hmm, you must miss me. No, I just don't want to miss the show. The look on Edward's face is going to be priceless when you tell him he has to share his slippers with Anthony Z. Have you got any popcorn? Things are bad enough for me without you hanging around to rub it in. Don't let the door hit you on the butt. I think that something like this is best without a preamble. If I were you, I would just spit the information out, Venus. Don't call me that. Well, then I'm going to have to come up with a new pet name. I'm sure your new hubby doesn't want me calling you Spanky Buns. That might raise questions about how you actually got that moniker. Don't you have some children to obsess about? I'm trying to help. My father has a heart condition. News like this could kill him. Then I suggest you wait until Monica comes home. She can restart the battery after you give him cardiac arrest. How did you even get in? Alice admitted me and oh. she gave me cake. She had Cook make a beautiful upside-down cake for that moment when your husband carries you over the threshold. So the story in the paper is correct, huh? You're married to the mob again. Well, I was going to tell you. Mm-hmm. After I read it in the paper. That's the way I found out about the engagement. My daughter did not have the decency to give me any advance notice. I had to discover it over my morning coffee. And it's easy to find the article on page six, Tracy. That was Anthony's doing, not mine. I think it's kind of sweet. He wants the whole world to know that you're his wife. I can't believe that you really went through with this. You know, she's always been attracted to very powerful men, Edward. Nobody can say Tracy Quartermain doesn't have a type. Anthony Zakara is not, nor will he ever be, my type. Well, perhaps you should have taken that into consideration before you said, I do. Daddy, I was under duress. I tried to explain that to you on Thanksgiving. You have made your bed, Tracy. Hey, by the way, Sky sends her best. She would love to be here for the big day, but she's very happy that you and Anthony found each other. She says something about a marriage made in heaven. As if I care. Clearly, I was wrong to think either of you would give me any support on this. But you'll always have your husband, Tracy. Yes, where is the new Mr. Tracy Quartermain? I thought he'd be here by now. I thought I told you to pack lightly. Have you seen Miss Tracy's closet? What the hell were you doing in my closet? Well, Tracy, you're married now, and I thought you would be moving in with your new husband, and I asked her to just pack up a few things. If... I'm not going anywhere. In fact, Anthony is moving in here with me. Oh, oh, oh. over my dead body. Oh, careful, Edward. Given your new son-in-law's profession, that could easily be arranged. No, 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 no. I draw the line at mobsters. Bad enough having this lout under my roof. Uh, 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 uh. It's Monica's roof. Alan gave it to her, don't forget. She's got a point there, Mr. Q. Listen, Monica would, wouldn't allow a mobster to live here either. Oh, please! She'd let Jason move home in a heartbeat. Well, that's different, Jason's family. So's Anthony now. You know, there's a very simple solution, Tracy. You could have the marriage annulled or get a divorce, huh? I can't. Oh, I see. That means you would have to trade your marriage bed for a cot in Pentonville. <laughs> well, as I've said, there is, it's your problem now. Hmm? You know, Daddy, you were never known for your compassion, but I think you just hit an all-time low. Well, I have not allowed my dirty business dealings to catch up with me. Well, Zakara could always go the route of Gino Solito. I'm sure he died a very happy man. And why are you still here? Aside from my love of fireworks, I wanted to present you with this, my... Wedding gift to the happy couple. <laughs> what is it? A token of my love and appreciation. Thanks for the memories, Spanky Buns. Get oh. up! We're staying. End of discussion. So what do you want me to do with all the stuff now? 
Why don't you take it to the honeymoon suite? I think that Tracy and Anthony will appreciate the privacy. <laughs> yeah.